Well, welcome back to Steve Rod Reviews. Today it's the middle of the winter. Got a project on the go. This is another one of them uh, barrels I had for uh, feeding uh, bears apparently. So I'm switching from feeding bears to feeding deer because this one actually survived. I did show in the past my other barrel that I filled with corn. Well, there's nothing left of it by the time them bears got rid of it. So this one here, I'm gonna hang up in the tree like I did last year, except completely different. I'm making a whole new mounting system. If you like, I'll put a couple links down below or at the end of this video, them big boxes that show the vids. And uh, I had uh, Doug from uh, Pine Tree Line Outdoors with me, helped me out with this uh, great big boom that we uh, kind of jammed up in the tree there. Well, it worked, but this video is all about, not so much the barrel, but changing some of the ideas that I have now compared to what I did back then. And you know what? If you're not making mistakes, you're not doing anything. So I like to learn from my mistakes and I do make quite a few mistakes. So I'll show you what I did so far that's different than the last one anyways. Anyways, so I got some good chain on here. Rather than use the, uh, the cable, I used that uh, steel cable. I think it was one quarter inch. Chain is much better. So I got it all rigged up this far so far. I'll take you off the uh, tripod and I'll show you what I got going on here and uh, the main part of this vid is to talk about the timer. I got this timer that I fastened on the bottom. I'll show you how I'm going to do that and I want to explain about that timer because that was the most fascinating part of all of this was to actually mount it up high so the bears can't get to it and then have this timer go off and spread the uh, corn down below and I'm using whole corn and uh, I learned quite a bit from that, so I'm going to talk about that at the end. But let's get to this right now. Okay, so we'll start off at the bottom here. I had to replace one of these legs here. And if you notice there, yeah, the whole top part was chewed up by a bear. Yeah, that's all from the bear. So I replaced it with another one. And this spout right here is where I had this feeder just mounted on the ground with a... Uh, I just had a big strap going across it next to a tree and you know what they chewed the strap right off and just dragged this all over so I'm covering this up just with a piece of plywood and then on the bottom I'll show you what I'm going to do here how I mount that timer but all I do is I just have it carriage bolted there's three here and then when you get to the top just put a little bit of a clasp here all the way around on all three now I do have a lid and this is a lid right here, seals on the top real nice and neat. So let's go, oh yeah, by the way, I got this already mocked up ahead of time. This is gonna go on the bottom and I gotta put a hole here for the corn to come through and mount the timer on the other side. And this is the timer that I had on my first one. Guys, this thing is just awesome. You would not believe how great this thing works. And I'll explain this a little bit better coming up. And I got some more chain. So I'll be rigging up some fancy uh, mounting system to hang this up in the air this year. A lot different than the last one. You have to check out the last one. It was uh, a little on the rough side, but I learned a lot. So let's get to the bottom of this, uh, this uh, feeder here. And I'll show you how I'm going to mount this on here. And it's very easy to do. Now, if you're wondering, this is just uh, uh, the bottom, I guess, a stack for, uh, for a toilet here. So I'll show you there. I don't know if it'll, it'll come in here or not. But yeah, that's just a, a toilet stack here. And I just got this, uh, these pieces here, you know, from their plumbing section. And here, and it was fairly inexpensive. So let's get to that right now and let's see how I'm going to do the bottom. Okay, so you can see on the bottom here, I just had a piece of plastic in here and I drilled some holes for, uh, for drainage in case any water got in there. But now this is where the... Uh, the spinner's gonna go on the bottom to spread the corn. So I'll just take my uh, my drill here and let's just pop a hole in here. Okay, now we'll take that uh, prefabricated piece I have over there and we'll put it on the sides next. Okay, you can see how this fits in here like this. And uh, all I did was orientate it, so of course one of these you don't want to be across from here because you never get your screws on, right? So there we go. A little bit of an arrow here. 
So I'll put it on like this. Get it in there. There. Now I'll just drive in them screws on the side here. And uh, Bob's your uncle. We'll come back when that's done. This is the unit right here. You can see on the bottom here the size of the hole that you have to have. So you know what? This is going to work fine. This will be fine. You don't need too big of a hole anyways. That's inch and a quarter, I believe. But you can see how this fits on the bottom, and this will orientate all the, all the different positions you want. Now, it does come with hardware, and I used their hardware last time. You know what? I got an improvement for that. You're going to see that coming up next. It does come with the batteries, and I tell you what, these aren't cheap batteries. These are very good batteries, lasted me the whole season. So they're very simple. You just mount your four batteries in here, and uh, user-friendly, like really user-friendly, how to set up the timer, and you don't have to carry your instructions with you. They're right here. This is just an awesome unit. I think I paid like 50 bucks. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mount it on here. Maybe a little bit different, but I want it to be able to come off. So in the fall, when I'm finished, I want to be able to just reach up, grab it, take it off, bring it in for the winter. The other one, it's still up there. It's still hanging from the tree. So I just left it on for the rest of the season, but no, I'm gonna take it you know, down next time and just leave the barrel up there, you know, so, cause it's empty by now anyways. So let's get to how I'm gonna mount this so I can take it off easy. Okay, so let's get to it right here. Let's just punch a hole through the center here. There we go. Okay, now you don't know if you can see it from there, but I do have some lines on here. I'm gonna have some more, and I'm gonna show you how this mounts on the easiest way next. Okay, so you can see what I got going on here. And this here, I'll show you one of these. It's just, uh, is that ever gonna focus on there? There we go. So you can see where it's one quarter 20 thread on one end, and on this end, it's made to go into wood. You just put two double nuts on it, then you drive it in. Let's get to that right now. I got the holes already marked, and you just line it up. That's it. I'll bring it back when I got these two nuts taken off, and I'll mount it on here, and I'll show you how this is going to go. I got it all fastened down. And as you can see here, yeah, just wing nuts. There you go. So now I can take this off anytime I want. It's so easy. It's not holding on there. What they had before was nuts and bolts. And uh, you know what? When I was there in the fall, this was all iced up and frosted. And I couldn't even find the fasteners, especially when this is all countersunk in here. So I'm going with this right here. Well, there she is. It's all done. Took me out in the shop here, complete, about an hour's time to do all this. And yeah, it's so easy with the wing nuts on the bottom to take it off. Now, there's something I'd like to talk about this timer, is the batteries that came with it lasted me past the season that I needed. I filled this up six weeks prior to uh, the deer hunt. It took a bag and a half, which is about 75 pounds to fill this. Now I set my timer for six seconds a day. And every day when I went out, yes, there was corn on the ground. And that's all you really need. So this barrel here that took 75 pounds lasted me six weeks and there was still corn left in it when I left. So, you know, it was actually a little bit more than six weeks from the time we filled it and the time we finished our hunt. Yeah, it was more than six weeks and this barrel lasted all that time and there was corn on the ground. First day of our hunt last year, one of my buddies was hunting about maybe 60 feet away from this barrel on the, the big huge rock. If you guys followed the channel there, I made a ladder to go up against the rock there. And uh, yeah, he was sitting there the first morning. We had maybe 10 inches of snow on the ground and two deer come out beside him. And just as he got his gun up, a partridge took off and scared the two deer away. Sounds like a story. 
but it's true. And we never see no deer the rest of the whole week. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty well it there. And you know, it's, this is all scrap pieces that I had. And the main thing I wanted to do is make some improvements from next year. So you are going to see me make this fancy rig that mounts to the, uh, to the tree to hang this from. Completely different idea than I did last year and much improved. So uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun with Doug from Pine Tree Lion Outdoors there last year to uh, help me do this. You never know, maybe this year he might come up with his buddy Jamie too. Jamie, you're welcome to come up. But uh, yeah, this is pretty well in here. Doesn't look fancy guys, but I'm not fancy either. So thanks for joining me here today. If you've ever seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. And you're gonna see this be installed too. And hopefully, well, we're not gonna be feeding no more bears anymore. We're going to be feeding the deer. <laughs> Cheers.